Now just a quick note for those of you that are starting the to-do list app. Some of the videos that you're going to be seeing were recorded before the release of iOS 14. So the UI date picker looks like this with a scroll wheel. Now that was an old style, but with iOS 14, Apple introduced a new UI date picker. And the default style is the compact style that you see here, where you can click on either the date or the time and a modal date picker window will pop up hovering above the existing view controller. Now there are a bunch of other options for customizing the UI date picker, but we'll just work with the defaults. Now chances are, if you're starting fresh, your project probably defaults to iOS 14, but if you follow the instructions in this video, your date picker will probably look like this. It's not the wheel version, it's the compact version, and it'll work fine when you click on it. But I'm giving you a heads up so that you know that things might look a little bit different in the video, and at the very end of this playlist, the last video is a video which is going to modify this project so that the wheel picker will show up if you're using an earlier version of iOS, but if you're using a later version that supports the new compact date picker, that's what will show up and will show an appropriate user interface for that as well. Now this last video in the playlist should be very useful because I'm going to show you how you can detect and respond to different versions of iOS that might be running your app. That's going to be useful because Apple is always making updates to iOS and you're going to want to make sure that your app supports any new features without crashing if you've got some users that are still using the older version of the operating system. And this video will also show you how you can use the simulator to simulate devices with older versions of iOS if you want to test your app on earlier iOS versions. Now do know that it's a real challenge to re-record all of the videos whenever Apple makes a relatively minor update like this. So it's probably better for me to spend time creating new content if I can address the changes in just a single video at the end. So hopefully this is a good solution as you continue in your learning journey. I hope you enjoy building the to-do app. It's a really fun app. There's a lot of big learning to come, so giddy up.